got it. We got it. We did it. We're so late. Guys, th Mark's under my desk. Amber made some pervy comments about that a few minutes ago, too. She made it. She made jokes. Mm. Amber's got jokes. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. He's, uh, he's fajugling the cords under there. If you guys hear weird noises, um, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. We're fine. This is going to be a great video. This isn't going to be like our fall trends video where we had to stream from my phone and not show you guys screen caps of anything. We got our coffee. We, we got notebooks. It's going to be great. We're going to figure it out. Um, so basically what we realized that we needed to be able to do for our trends video is, um, screen share with you to show you the trends and how to find What'd you do? I plugged the keyboard in. You know, apparently you've been able to hear me for a second. This is so funny with no sound. You're nailing it! <laughs> Glad you could be cool through your tech issues. Cynthia, you have no idea. I'm not feeling very cool right now. Jazz hands. Yes! Can they hear you? They can hear us now. Cool. It's like an old school silent movie. We should have done it in black and white. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Are we all set up though? Are we good to go? We're ready to rock and roll, babe? Yeah. Okay. That was stressful. So, now that we are 13 minutes into our stream, and any new alphas who have found us at random have ran away because they have been terrified uh, by our lack of planning for our spring trends video. Basically, YouTube has changed a whole lot and has made it really hard to live stream which has been the case for quite a while. However, um, we realized how difficult it would really be for us to screen share after we got on here today and realized that, that was not a capability with our third party screen sharing software. But that is okay because we are fixed. We're ready to rock. We're gonna talk about trends. I think Mark is upstairs hyperventilating because he just was all over the place, rolling under my desk, and he's very stressed out. But we are going to be okay, and I'm sure he will back, be back momentarily. Let's talk about trends now. For those of you who have a Target in your area, Target just... 
they took down their bikinis and maybe this is like well i don't want to say that it depends on the part of the world because i live in ohio and it is freezing in ohio most of the time but they took down their bikinis to put out their christmas stuff and then they took down their christmas stuff and now all the new bikinis are back out I don't know what Target is on right now. They're doing some, like, funky drugs because I don't think anybody in Ohio is buying a bikini this time of year. But that's, like, how you know that spring trends are in full effect. And we have some really weird different colors. I actually bought this shirt from Target a couple weeks ago, but this is one of the colors that I've seen trending, this My Happy Mama shirt. But it's, like, a, a, like a dark, sagey color, like a... I don't know. This is one of the colors that I've noticed. We're seeing a lot of like browns and a lot of really, I don't want to say neutral colors, but almost like muted palettes. So I do have a list that we're going to go over and like halfway through creating my list while I was doing my trends research yesterday, I decided that, you know, I'll cover these things, but it's going to be so much easier for me to just show them to you, which is why screen sharing was so essential. So Thank you for everybody who stuck with us. Oh no, you have a cold. No, this is just how I sound in the winter. I sound like this all winter, no matter what. I'm actually fine. I feel great, but yeah, I'm I'm always a little, uh, yeah, I'm always a little laggy. Tell Mark not to stress. It's no biggie. Stress ain't good for you. Ooh, a window appeared. A magical window. You gonna give us some Target, some Target. Yeah, I'll have to bring my, uh, oh, you got the browser up over here, so I'm going to do. Yeah, there we go. Link, and then, give me that wire cast. <coughs> so, if you guys missed it, we actually have a video that we did during our holiday series that will teach you exactly how to do the research that I'll be showing you today. We also have E-Rank, that's another great resource. Obviously, I'm pretty good friends with uh, Anthony Wolf from E-Rank, though we are not affiliated yet. We're not affiliated yet, but maybe someday we will be. But for now, we're not, so it's coming from a completely unbiased standpoint. Nate isn't here, and he works for Anthony, so... You know, Nate's not here to, to sing the songs of E-Rank. However, we will be showing you my favorite tool, which does require a pro membership. What is that? That is the friggin' screen cap thing that will not come over onto this window. Oh. Monitor one. Hey, look at that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and dive in. I hope you guys have a notebook and paper if you're writing these down. Um, I do have a few written down that I would like to cover. A lot of these aren't going to make sense until I show you the examples. This is kind of the norm for how we do these trends videos, if this is your very first one. So while Mark is getting all this craziness set up, hello, hello. Let, let's go ahead and go over some of the trends that you can expect to see. So first, spring is pastels. And this year in particular, it's been really crazy with the pastels. I'm noticing a lot of pastel and I don't want to say like faded, but almost like a muted tie dye has been really, really popular this season. Coral, even though that was last year's color of the year, that living coral, I'm seeing a lot of coral things this year. Um, tan is really popular this year. This sage color, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's kind of like a blue-green color, is really popular. And a lot of just neutrals, like shirts that don't have a lot on them. Uh, whites, light grays, mint, like a, a brighter mint color. Um, and obviously our color of the year, which is that nice, deep, classic blue. And I'm going to show you what Target has done with our color of the year. For everyone who says, oh, color of the year, I don't know exactly what to do with that. Target has a really great example of that. All right, and we're going to switch to screen cap. I don't know if the audio is going to work. because we're not it doing broke. that yet. Okay, well, when we do, I'm going to need to make sure that the audio works because it broke on our normal one and it's the same thing. 
Okay. It'll only take me a second to fix it, but I don't know if it's going to work at the moment. Can you scoot over another yeah. light foot? I'm not on screen yet. So tech errors might occur when we screen share. It'll only take me like 30 seconds to fix it. Oh. Yeah, so just be aware that that could happen. Okay, textures. This is great for clothing. This is great for uh, pillows and blankets and and uh, even some home decor and bags. We've got a soft like sweatpants material. Mark just bought a hoodie. You want to tell them about your, your blue hoodie? It's not down Yeah, here. it's it's not down here, but it's made out of a like a fleece blanket material. Like not not like you would normally get like a fleece coat, but like the actual like thick fleece, almost like a what pet beds are made out yeah. of real thick, warm fleece material. And it, that was like their gimmick. It was called like blanket, like blanket hoodie. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, really comfortable. It's really warm. Yeah. It's almost like they just, they sewed a hoodie, but like inside out, it would be like the normal fabric, but then the inside or the outside is the fuzzy side. They're both, it's fuzzy on both sides. So that soft sweatpants material is really, really popular right now. I don't know exactly what that what to even call that because it's not really fleece you know one side of it isn't but i'm seeing it everywhere so felted lettering all of my shirts right now that i've been buying have this like fuzzy felt lettering like this shirt does i just bought a champion shirt that has the felted uh logo on the mm. front and I, correct me if i'm wrong I, we're 90s babies but i believe that that felted lettering was popular um primarily in the 80s i don't think that it was so much of a 70s thing i think that it was an 80s thing that kind of uh worked its way into the 90s and that's why we're seeing it right now i might be wrong feel free to let me know if you're if you're up to you know up to on your 70s 80s and 90s fashion but I think that those felt had... Somebody said velour and somebody else said minky. Yes. Well, not necessarily minky. Um, minky is a, is a soft, almost like a baby blanket material, which is always popular in children's, but you don't really see minky as much in. No. Um, yeah. Sherpa, though. That is actually last on my textures list, but I'll bring that one in. Sherpa is another really popular material right now, and I'm seeing that in, like, every single blanket that I've seen is that Sherpa material and pillows at trendy places like Target. So that might be something to consider because if people are actually searching for Sherpa, that might be a keyword that you want to incorporate in. Uh, denim is still big. Uh, it's been big since last year. I think that denim jackets, denim, um, everything 90s. I'm seeing denim overalls. Our seven-year-old daughter wanted a pair of denim overalls that she wears to school because she says it makes her look like Mario. So denim is big. Knit, knit sweaters, knit, uh, knit blankets, knit pillows, all that nice like thick knit material cozy is our theme right now and it has been our theme since fall but it, i feel like everything right now is themed around cozy so much that target made a category just called cozy with clothes that they considered cozy and they're all very minimalist oversized sweaters um blankets candles all the things that incorporate cozy. So that might be a good keyword to look into. It might be a good idea to create a cozy spring collection, anything that is based around comfort. And last is any type of like fake fur material for pillows, blankets, mm. home decor. Those are our textures right now. Patterns, we're gonna keep these minimal because we're gonna dive into a lot of patterns together on uh, target.com, but leopard print, is probably the most popular that I'm seeing in women's clothing and decor. Uh, floral is really, really big. So uh, a primary color and then, you know, like little spurts of floral over top of it. And vertical stripes are still big, which is what we talked about during our winter uh, trends analysis. Uh, next, home decor is a little different this year. Um, kitchen storage is really big. So different types of jars kitchen storage jars and organization in the kitchen is really big vintage bathrooms so that white almost um i almost want to say i don't want to say doctor's office and i don't want to say like apothecary i'll have to show you an example but i'm seeing like a lot of white and black and like metal signs and just very very minimalist 
uh, clean bathroom right now. Greenhouse is big. We've talked about this since last year, but that white aesthetic with pops of green and greenery and plants is really big in home decor. Eucalyptus really is like the number one plant that I'm seeing as of right now when it comes to this, you know, kind of splash of greenery. And laundry room decor is big. I noticed it at Michael's when I was there, uh, what, yesterday, day before mm -hmm. yesterday? The day before yesterday. Yeah, they have like a whole laundry room decor section and Target is starting to get all these little laundry room signs with like little witty phrases. And once again, the laundry room theme is very minimalist and clean and um, white, lots of whites and blacks. So that might be something to consider if you're in the sign business where you create, you know, wooden decor signs, laundry rooms. Uh, jewelry, two major trends I'm seeing in jewelry right now are the tassels. I think last year we talked a lot about macrame. Now we're back to like the tassel jewelry and I'm seeing tassel earrings and uh, tassel necklaces and even bracelets that have like single tassel charms on them and minimal gemstones. So like a single gemstone hanging from a pendant or a single gemstone on an earring. Uh, clothing, major clothing trends I'm seeing right now are oversized sweaters. So big, huge, baggy, you know, granny sweaters like you guys have seen me wear them a million times. Long sleeve t-shirts, so standard t-shirt uh, material, but long sleeves with simple phrases on them. We're not seeing like these shirts anymore that have like the phrases all the way, like, you know, something that completely covers it. It's just something simple. Like I saw, you know, one that said, be happy, good vibes. I've got happy mama on right now. So just very simple little phrases on long sleeve shirts. Uh, varsity style sweatshirts. I don't know what else you would call those, but the, the ones that look like college athletic sweaters, but for schools that you've probably never heard of or made up schools, those are really big right now. Um, and crop sweaters, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. So the kind of like crop only come up part of the way sweaters are really popular because high-waisted pants are in and I'm all for that because uh, muffin tops didn't exist when um, you know high-waisted pants were in right that that came in the 2000s when everyone wore their pants down to their unmentionables so let's go to target.com we may we may we may have tech errors when we click the magic button so if we disappear for a minute let us know if you stop being able to hear us that's the main thing i'm concerned about yeah let's just sing
you're on screen now. They can hear you. They can hear me? Yeah, but you're talking through that because I don't have this set up yet. Oh. I mean, they can still hear you. You can talk to them normally. Oh, okay. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't think that I could. Okay. Can you guys hear me okay? You're not talking through the mic on your face. You're talking through here. Oh, okay. I, they got to see the screen, though, for it. To... Right. I put you on the screen so they're not just listening to total blackness and nothing oh. while I'm doing this. YouTube sucks really bad right now. It's not YouTube's fault. It's the software's fault. Sucking so hard. We need a new software. They all suck this hard. That's true. It's mainly because you wanted to screen share today, and I don't have it set up on your computer, and I have to move all the peripherals from one machine to another. Live video is not a good time to... It's not a good time to do... Do you guys like my air traffic control headset? Arr. We're getting it, though. This is going to be one of those videos that, like, you guys should watch it now because I'm probably, after the stream, I'm probably going to delete it. Yeah, this it. has been pretty rough. And why is the screen capture if I, not doing anything? If I leave this video up forever... Oh, people are going to hate on it so hard. Yeah, the, ha the replay haters will be so bad because they don't care that we're having tech issues. They'll just tell us that we don't know how to use YouTube and... Yeah. It's not about using YouTube. It's about using the most complicated oh <laughs> oh, baby. It's not working, is it? No, the screen caps broke now. Hooray. Oh, no. And I bet if I pull up a screen cap over here, it'll be fine. You know what? Kill that one. You die with a fiery passion. Die. Die. They just screen share. Die in a terrible computer accident. Oh my god. Did it work? <gasps> Is it working? It should be working. Oh! They won't be able to hear me at all because it's all through that. That's, so, that's okay. They usually get mad at you when we do spring trends videos anyway. Oh wow. Okay. So... <laughs> Let me know if you guys can see everything. I feel like this is too good to be true. I feel like it could be all wrong. Can you see it? Can you hear it? Yay! Okay, so this is your only chance to watch this video. So make sure that you take notes because I am so deleting this one after we are done. You're going to go to target.com slash finds because otherwise you are not going to be able to find this page anymore. Target has taken target finds off of their main toolbar, which is very unfortunate because it was one of my favorite tools for research. So if this is your first trends video, some of the things that you should be looking are or looking at are the subtle aspects that aren't necessarily in your face. So what I mean by that is look at not just the products themselves, but also look at the backgrounds that Target is using for their photos. So let's go ahead and pop open this first link in our trends and look at the background that we're using. There is that sage color that I just talked about. And we're back to that really minimalist uh aesthetics if you go back and watch our winter trends video a lot of the things that are still that are were trending for winter are still trending that kind of macrame style art we've got a lot of those wood textures that we talked about um but we're still really focusing on textures it would appear and you're seeing that little touch of greenery there's a lot of wood i'm noticing it, it, look at the subtle things like we have wood here wood here you want to look at how the colors kind of play together on these pages and the colors that you're seeing okay that's not sage that's teal oh well it's yes yes to amber <laughs> it is more of a teal color all right popping open this one i really enjoyed this particular page um because we can see what's really trending in the bathroom aesthetics and what's great about this is we have a lot of alphas who are in skincare they do bath bombs and bath and body products and these photos are really inspirational because they can help you to style product photos that really go along with uh you know 
your actual product. So even if you don't create products like what you see in these photos, look at these photos for styling ideas of what is going to really, really pop to people. Are the Palazzo, oh, Palazzo lounge pants? Those are my absolute favorite. And they, I've been seeing them quite a bit. I, I'm a really big fan of them. I've got a couple pairs myself and I haven't worn them in a long time. But yes, I have been seeing them. I'm seeing them with print as opposed to um, solid colors. All right, so in these bathroom aesthetics, look at these colors that we're seeing. We're seeing like some beige and like a really sand tone, lots of white, that touch of greenery. Um, we're still seeing that wicker trend that we noticed a lot uh, last year. Lots of textures going on, so textures are really big. And let's see, we've got a lot of bathroom storage. Really, really interesting stuff when you scroll through and you actually dissect these photos and, and look at the different stylings. This looks like an awesome Etsy photo, doesn't it? I could totally see this, like an Etsy seller using a photo like this. It reminds me of Paula Haas, right? Scrolling down, we've got some interesting string art. You see these where it's like embroidered? Really interesting. Okay. Vintage of current trends. Good. Um, vintage of current trends. I'm not quite sure what you mean, but kind of when it comes to, I mean, yeah, because a lot of our, the trends that we see are coming back. I think it just, you got to kind of define vintage. That can mean anything. Um, when is Etsy having an administrator so I can have someone list for me? I don't think ever. I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and pop in our next one. This one I really enjoy. Here is where we're seeing our color of the year really come to life when everyone's like, oh, I make jewelry. How do I incorporate that color? And then bam, we see it paired with gold. We're seeing it, look, in candles, home decor. And notice like the home decor is all very simple where the blue is really the showcase. You know, we don't see it as an accent color. It is the main color. Lots and lots of good examples here. And you can see it everywhere. Kitchen, home, bags. Awesome. All right. So now that we know that the color of the year is in full sewing, let's go down. All right repurposing is huge right now if you guys could do anything that is made out of repurposed materials that's a that's a really good one or something maybe even if you make ebooks and pdfs that teach people how to reuse something or repurpose things or if you create things that are repurposed all very trendy this um <laughs> what was this metal called i can't even remember what this metal was called that we were talking about during our winter trends, but it is very popular right now. And it, I don't think that this in particular is like reused, um, but I think it just kind of gives off that like aesthetic. So lots of good examples here. Okay. Galvanized. That's right. I called it gar garbanized or something. And you guys got mad at me. All right. So hashtag target style is going to show you photos that users have submitted to uh, Instagram with the hashtag target style. So this is going to show you a lot of the things that we've talked about, but in practiced, which I really like this because it shows you things that people are actually buying, right? So scrolling down, look at that tie-dye. And this isn't just tie-dye. This is full tie-dye sweatsuit. Like this is tie-dye top to bottom. But we're seeing the blue and we're seeing kind of a coral color. These are those pastel kind of faded muted colors that I talked about. Look, there's our coral from last year, right? Lots of oversized sweatshirts. This kind of has that like college look. We've got another uh, sweatshirt. It says Denver on it. That could be, you know, kind of considered one of those college shirts. Uh, repurposed jewelry. Possibly. It, just depending on how you execute it. We're seeing that leopard print again. We're seeing those neutrals. Full white. Look, there's that tie-dye in a dress. More tie-dye. We're seeing those vertical stripes. Or horizontal stripes, I'm sorry. We're seeing those horizontal stripes. We're seeing more tie-dye, more tie-dye. Floral. 
more oversized sweaters. It's like that's all you see anymore is tie-dye and oversized sweaters. Tie-dye, oversized sweater. There's a knit. But our colors are so similar. Look, there's that 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 teal color that Amber yelled at me for. More coral. More floral. Coral, floral. More stripes. London, Aspen. So we've got some locations. More floral. But you guys see these palettes? Like, these palettes are just so... The, everything goes together. And I think that that is trendy right now because it means that your outfits are so much easier to put together. Any of these pieces could work together. We're seeing those tans. We're seeing that green color in the background here. All these little touches of color. Eucalyptus. The cutest little baby ever. All right, so here's an example of what I was talking about with that clean bathroom decor um, where it's it's vintage, but I don't even know how to describe it, but I'm seeing all these little metal like wash signs. Very interesting. Once again, we're seeing tacos in love, like very basic like little quotes and things. Nothing crazy and none of those big, long like, I am a mom and I love my dog and I also like to go to Chipotle. Like, do you guys remember when there were shirts that had just the longest phrases on them? Those are starting to go away. We're starting uh, some kitchen storage. Oop, look, there's our blue with that burst of floral. So that's, notice how this picture like stands out on all these other photos. Like we have all these palettes and then boom, it's like that blue is just a burst of color or color of the year. That's kind of what the color of the year does. Grateful, we've got the grateful sweater. So another uh, crop sweater with one word on it. Here's a little bit of that mint color. Bikinis, for some reason. Don't know who's wearing a bikini in January, but more power to you, girl. More of that sweat, that like sweatshirt material. You know what I mean? Like that nice, cozy, happy, happy sweater. That's the exact same sweater I'm wearing, except mine is uh, Happy Mama. More happy. Lots of happy. Lots of focus on happy. Oh, look, there we are. Happy Mama. She bought all three. She's got she's got three of those crop sweaters. All right. So I think we have some good examples here. Um, I kind of want to stop screen sharing, but I'm afraid to. So what I'm probably going to do is um, since Mark, he went upstairs since he, <laughs> I can't, you guys can't hear him anyway because I'm talking through a headset. Um, oh, is that him? Is that you? Are we able to stop screen sharing? Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let me do... Um, I guess I didn't pull up E-Rank. So we won't, we won't worry about doing that today. But if you guys end up wanting to explore some of these trends on your own, all you have to do is go to target.com slash finds. My favorite areas are going in trends today and uh, target style. These are some of my favorite areas to search. But there's also a lot of other really great areas that you can dissect. That Castile soap there is pretty, uh, pretty great. I used that the whole time I was in the military. Yeah, I remember that. It has a weird smell. I just, I had the mint, the peppermint smell. Yeah. Um, and other things that you can do are pop into some of these sections here. Like parties, you can kind of see. And a lot of these haven't quite been updated yet. That's kind of the downfall of doing early emerging trends because we don't have, you know, as well filled out of an area. But that's why these Instagram photos are so powerful because everybody is still shopping at Target and all of these influencers are still posting to Instagram. So even if uh, Target themselves haven't updated all of their pages, you can always see what people are actually shopping for on Target.com. So let's go ahead and uh, we will stop screen sharing. Okay, let me know if we lose sound at all. No, they, they won't. You can okay. see it here. Oh, okay. All you right. Need to take that off. Oh. oh, they. is it back it's, to this audio? Yes. Yeah, I just couldn't get, for some reason, the webcam just wouldn't capture audio for the screen cap. It's oh, fine. okay, great. So I, I don't look like a goober anymore. Scoot that way. Okay. All right, so now, guys, since, uh, since we're going to be deleting this video probably by the 
probably tomorrow. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty rough. Yeah, I don't really want to <laughs> deal with all the hate in the comments. So. No, it's gonna be. People get kind of nasty. They get real nasty. They get awful. And it's not even like preventable stuff. It's just the, like I plugged the keyboard in and the whole stream broke. <laughs> like even the biggest YouTubers have these problems. So, yeah. all right. If you guys have questions about trends, shoot those into the comments. This has been a crazy stream. We do have a couple things that I want to talk to you guys about. Do yes. we have a way to see how many are live right now? Do we have that capability or no? Yeah. Um, or can just you just click on into YouTube? 155. Quite oh. a few. Is it this one? What? To pull up our old window? Yeah. Okay. No. That one. Okay. All right. So, um, little bits of news for you guys while you're typing your, your uh, questions into the comments. First bit of news, we have raised, I, I believe, 700 something dollars for the uh, Australian wildfires or more specifically for uh, the Australian Red Cross. So down below, there is a link to buy alpha t-shirts through our bonfire campaign. Kind of ironic that that's the name of the company and we're raising money for the fires in Australia. That was you not, know. you know, but we are donating 100% of the money that we make in our bonfire campaign to the Australian Red Cross. And there are six, no, five days, I believe, left to buy a shirt. So we have all different Weird. colors. Yes, there's jerseys, there are tank tops, there are long sleeves, there are hoodies, there are even kids' shirts. So hop in there, grab yourself a shirt, and uh, support the Alphas, and support our friends in Australia. Because, do yeah, do even, it. Even Call of Duty has a has a pack you can buy with all kinds of skins, and 100% of the proceeds go to... Go to Australia. Yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty neat. So get a shirt. My free marketing calendars that are going to really teach you how to release collections based on some of the trends that we've talked about, you need to download those right away. Otherwise, you're going to be missing out on getting your spring collection together and knowing important key shopping dates. This is a 12-month calendar. We're already almost through January, so you want to make sure that you grab that. Otherwise, you Jump will miss that. out. You're going to be behind the curve. Behind, and it is linked down below all you got to do enter your name and email you will not be double subscribed to my email list if you sign up for that it is its own separate entity so grab that pdf um and then lastly for this is like a, a sneak like teaser thing before we get into questions but we've had a lot of alphas ask us when we're going to be doing a collaboration again for handmade titan university which is renee christine's course that way the alphas can get her program but also with alpha bonuses that's going to be coming up on s monday yeah on monday that's going to be coming up on Monday. So watch your emails, watch the group. There's going to be posts about it everywhere. Um, and there's also going to be something super special. Even for those who can't enroll, we're doing something else really fun. So just keep an eye out. Fun stuff to come next week. What are our questions? Uh, I wanna, I'm want i going to allow Ashley's comment. People can suck eggs. I like that I, one. I fully 100% agree with that statement. <laughs> and eggs isn't the word I would use, but yes. <laughs> Why is my mouse yellow? Or green? Or blue? Because it's plugged into my computer. Oh, okay. Uh, pop out that live chat. That is way too small for my, my tiny little eyes to read. You have big, beautiful eyes. Doesn't he have big, beautiful blue eyes? How's this mustache doing? It's a little messy because I didn't have time to condition it this morning, but holy crap, that text is still so small. Well, I don't want to like... Just, well, that's not going to help either. Pull it like in the middle so we can both read it. There we go. <clears throat> text. All right. You know what, what in the world are you doing? There. Put it in the middle so we can both read it, you goof. I can't read all the Go way back there. to the pond. Because you're being a silly goose right now. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, scroll up just a little bit. I think there were a couple of comments above that. People can suck. Upcycle hey. jewelry. I, yeah, I did that one. Okay. Okay. Would you say that acrylics are still trending for jewelry? Yeah. Yeah. We just had uh, we just had an alpha have some of her jewelry. I think it was more like a resin jewelry, but it still went along those like bright colors. And she had it 
purchased by somebody famous, so I'm not going to like disclose her details or their details, but someone famous actually bought something from her on Etsy uh, not too long ago. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, so definitely I would still say acrylics and uh, enamel and bright colors are very popular. How did the live event go? Oh, it went very well. Um, it We had lots of people uh, show up, and it was probably like... It was my most attentive event ever. We've got some really great photos that you guys will kind of see throughout, you know, the next few months because we sprinkle things like that out. But, yeah, we had a very large audience. It was a lot of fun. I mean, keychains, do you think a plant lady gardener spring collection would go well? Yeah, totally. Totally. Um, it's all in how you market it. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of shirts that have things about being the crazy plant lady and um, really just, like, embracing that, you know. I think that that would be, you know, a really good idea just depending on how you market it, making sure that you're marketing it correctly. I don't want you to create a collection like that and, you know, risk not marketing correctly and then you get mad at me because nothing's sold. So just make sure that you're doing your research, you're putting it in all the right places. Overall, as a theme, I think it would be great. Just make sure that you're putting it in all the right places. What would be the best name for using used clothing on Etsy? Reclaimed, vintage, up, upcycled. I wouldn't use, if you're reclaiming it, I wouldn't use vintage because vintage kind of assumes that it's still in like mint condition. Reclaimed is a word that people search. That's all Nate yeah. buys, right? Nate buys like reclaimed denim. Isn't that what he's into, reclaimed? No, he likes new stuff. He, I don't he know. He talks about it a lot because we just watched. So for those who have Disney Plus, go... And watch uh, the Jeff Goldblum experience and watch his episode it's on denim. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's kind of comical because he's a little sarcastic a lot of the times, but they it's, go, it's pretty good. They go like to old like mine shafts and go denim hunting because this denim is so valuable. Like looking for just the smallest scraps of denim. So if you're into uh, anything like reclaimed, repurposed, be sure to check that out on Disney+. Plus. It was great. Disney+, Plus, please sponsor us. <laughs> I'm wondering about ACR. Yeah, I like the 308 model. Scroll down. What? ACR is a type of rifle. Oh. <laughs> I'm just being a smart aleck. ACR, what do you... What's that? Sarah, what What are you referring to? I'm assuming you don't... You're not referring to a rifle. There's Mr. Military over here. Oh, no. that toddler. I wasn't done typing. My kid just hit sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were a little confused. While I listen slash watch this live stream, I'm sewing up a, approximately approximately 15 animal rescue pouches to send to Australia. Awesome. Make sure that you guys don't send any more mittens. Uh, they have announced that they have way too many mittens, so <laughs> they... People, Australia. people were like, send them the mittens! I know, everyone's like, I want to help! And now Australia's like, please stop sending mittens. We send have... them money. Yeah, send them, send them money. They no, need money more than anything. No more mittens. <laughs> Pouches are good, though. Do you have suggestions for trend research for niche markets? I do accessories for costuming and cosplay, and I'm not sure if there are many options besides Google Trends. For... Excuse me. So, my big thing when it comes to... Um, niche markets like that because I also am in that niche market where I create you know those huge fantasy necklaces what my suggestion is to find a few big wigs in the industry and then follow them and really just look at what they're doing because they're putting in the money to do all of that research for you so just write off of the research that they are investing money into and use that to your benefit I like um, in terms of uh, this isn't necessarily cosplay. It's more of like Renfest. But what's that verse? What's that? Versailles. What are you, are you talking about? The the clothing brand. Yeah, like Versailles. The, how do you spell that? V e r s a i l l e s. I yeah. believe. Something like that. That's one of my favorite clothing brands. Uh, for... No, Veritas. No, that wasn't it. Yeah, it was. If you have a Google open right here, you could search it. I could. I'm going to do that. B-E-R-I-T-A-S. That's not it. No, I'm not telling you. Scroll down past the ads. You're going to get a data collection company. Let's put cl uh, clothing. 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 
No, that's definitely not it. Uh, I thought it was, you know what? We're, we're getting nitpicky. We're not going to worry. We about don't it. have a lot of questions anyway, so we have, I think, one more. Do you have any, like, cosplay type company? No, I don't really look at cosplay. And he like, yeah, well, yeah, we do. Like, we think... Nothing specific, though. Oh, okay. Like, I'll browse Pinterest boards and stuff, but I'll never... <laughs> well, specifically, I don't do cosplay, so... We want to. It's just so much work. So, we want... If we do it, we're going to go all out and, like, spend the money. What What were you planning on doing for if we ever did a con? I wanted to do a Silent Hill nurse. Uh, Chris from Resident Evil. That would be cool, like Resident Evil and Silent Hill together. Mm -hmm. Be Bob. Do like the full spandex upper suit with the the guns and all the crazy stuff. Let's see. How do you have people list for you without them seeing your whole account? You don't have people list for you, Tony. That's the unfortunate thing about Etsy is it's kind of an intimate, personal thing that you're creating with yourself. Somebody said, what are keywords to use for dresses? You Dress. Hey, Chad, uh, get erank.com. You, like, you can't just make up keywords like out of your head because there's no evidence or data supporting that your guesses are actually being searched. Sign up for erank.com. You can sign up for free. Go to the keyword tool and type in dresses and see what the most searched terms are because erank is going to tell you what actual Etsy shoppers are typing into Etsy while shopping mm -hmm. for dresses. So Full don't body skirt. Yeah, That's don't fun. don't don't guess. Make sure that you're actually doing the research. Full body shirt, skirt, still looks good, Mark. That's right. This needs trimmed up though. It's a little messy. One day we need to have a tutorial on how you make your eyebrow shape so perfect. Step one: shave them off. That's true. I don't have natural eyebrows. Only yeah, she, she does. She just only like this much. Um, I. Since we're deleting this stream anyway, I'll tell you my secret. I use a. Uh, eyeliner brush a very sharp eyeliner brush and dark brown eyeshadow and I clean it up with concealer on an equally sharp brush are you gonna show us a drank Sorry. thing were you gonna show us a drank thing a drank thing a dr drank a dr I, don't, I don't know what you're asking a, it's probably just a miscommunication a drank thing <laughs> how do you come up with ideas for your emails and your VIP club we think real hard. Um, I only email my audience if I have something important to tell them. We, we actually, we have a video that covers things to post in a VIP club. I would go watch our latest interview with Amber Marie. That is probably our most beneficial when it comes to VIP clubs. Various. Yes! V-E-R-I-L-L-A-S. Thank you. Thank you. E-rank thing, not drank thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. So the reason... That's, that, pretty, that's a pretty funny mistake, though. The reason that we weren't going to show you the E-rank is because I didn't already have it pulled up, and I would have to type in my password, and then you guys would be able to visibly see how many characters in the email address that I use for my password while we were... No, no, no. We so, don't do that. It no, plugged no. into my computer because of the way that we stream. We had to uh, screen share today, so... But if you guys want to check out what's trending on E-Rank, all you have to do is... I actually have a video on it that says um, how to do trend research with E-Rank. I can't remember what video it was, but it was a few weeks ago. Um, all you really need to do is go to erank.com go into the reports tab and go to the trend buzz. That's where you're gonna wanna find what's trending. And make sure you look at what was trending around this time last year. Look at what was trending this time in 2019 because that's gonna be a good indicator on what's gonna be trending this year. So look at March, look at you know uh, April and see what was trending. That way you can make sure that you're preparing ahead of time. Oh, I cosplay as Norba from Nora from RWBY, but I'm fat. Don't call yourself fat. That's aggressive. If you're overweight, that's fine. But don't call yourself fat. Don't yeah. self de don't self deprecate. Not only that, but that's a goal. Work like, towards that. And not only that, but I see girls who who cosplay all. I mean, I've seen girls plus size girls who cosplay all kinds of things. Don't let that be a limiter because what you're gonna do is if you put yourself out there. You're going to tell other girls that, you know, it's okay. You guys can do what you want. You don't have to. F it's it's make-believe. It's pretend. It's supposed to be fun. Don't. Yeah. 
Like if you, if it's a goal that you have, like for the new year, like you want to get healthy, like that's one thing and you could use that as a motivator, but don't use it as something that's going to keep you from doing what you want to do. Like screw anybody yeah. who has. And if you like, feel that way about yourself, it's the new year. Set yourself a yearly goal. Yeah. Knock it, off the weight. Yeah. Do it. Oh, that is Itty's medication alarm. Yeah. It's, I mean, we, we have similar goals right now because we are not very healthy at this moment but we're working on it no we are not all right how long did it take you to build all your automated emails um so my automated email my my automation series is not very big i think that it consists of maybe less seven emails. You guys also get a different series when you sign up for my um, marketing calendars that are free down below. You get like a different series. I need to build my series out more. Um, they do take a long time. I, I can't really give you an estimated date, but I'll tell you that, it, or a estimated time. But I will say that it's worth it to just sit down and get them all done and don't be afraid to add to your existing automation series if you already have one in place. Even if your subscribers who have already gone through your automation series haven't received, you know, they won't receive that new email. Don't be afraid to add popular emails that you've sent in the past or just popular topics that you've talked about. Add those into your automation series. That way, that good content is recycled and new subscribers are going to see it as brand new content like they're experiencing it for the very first time so well, let's see when does the online course start again june are you she are you talking about handmade titan university or handmade alpha academy if you're talking about ours it's june yeah haa will be opening june 14th it is actually printed on your uh, on your calendar that's down there and we will be doing something cool with Renee Christine this upcoming Monday if you're waiting for her Handmade Titan University. And the difference between those is Handmade Titan University is a handmade marketing course. So it's going to teach you how to sell anywhere. It's not going to get into the specifics of like Etsy because it's just, you know, marketing across the grid. And Handmade Alpha Academy is strictly Etsy and how to dominate Etsy and click by click on Etsy. So my place it's hard to read uh, right here yeah if my competition mass favorites a uh, huge chunk of my listings every day does that eat up my promoted listing advertising money for that day no 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 um if they're not directly doing it via ads um then no them them just going to your shop and favoriting a bunch of items doesn't use up ads because those aren't ads Ads are the things that once every once in a while pop up in their feed. Let's see. I know you use iPicky religiously. Have you ever tried Photo P? No, mm -hmm. we have not. Photo Photo P. I, I like heard that wrong. I heard that like. Oh P yeah. P E E. I'm like Photo P. Can I ask about Architect from Renee, please? Is it available to enroll in Price? like it is now or does Renee offer a bigger discount from time to time? Wait, what? Uh, architect from Renee, is it available to enroll in price like it is now? I don't think it's available unless you got a private invitation, but the price on architect is usually consistent. Um, we will probably do some type of alpha um, architect collab soon soon-ish. I don't know exactly when we're going to do that, but we usually work out like a thing where the alphas can get in and get extra goodies um, if they enroll with us. But I don't think it doesn't really include like any extra discounts because she usually does the one set price, but I don't know when it'll be opening unless you got a private invitation, which she does do that to very select groups of, uh, of besties. Have you tried the OWO Etsy integration yet? No. We have not. We don't have time to switch over to another service at yeah, the moment. We, we do it. It's going to be a while. We have OO. We just haven't set it up or done anything with it yet because we, time. yeah, we have not had the time to do that. And I'm not going to, you know, risk junking up my emails and messing things up for you guys. So great service. Haven't personally used it yet. 
I spend six to eight dollars a day on ads. Do you think I should increase it? Etsy promoted listings. I mean, I would. That is unfortunately not something I could answer without looking at your revenue, looking at what is being clicked. Uh, one thing I will say is when you're doing your ads, make sure that you're only promoting listings that are already doing well. Mm -hmm. Don't try. Don't put a bunch of money into ads that or into products that aren't doing well. And if you think it's in your within your budget limits, go ahead and do it. I mean, it's it's your budget. Yeah. It's, it, that's kind of up for you to decide whether or not. That's way more than I spend. I'll, I will say that much. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think that's quite a bit. I think that's more than enough. Yeah. And are you are you making money? Is you it... could move it up. You could go like 8 to 10 bucks a day and see if it makes a difference. And if it doesn't make a difference, then move it back. Yeah. Like, how much are you making money? Is it paying off? Are they working? Like, I have, I have questions for you, you know? Um, let's see. My audience is primarily looking for gifts so I could consider the quote-unquote product lines as curated gift guides for my products. Yeah, that would be awesome. And do, like, photos. Like, have you ever seen gift guide photos where it has, like, all of the, the products, like, laid together so you can kind of picture them all as a, a package deal? That would be a really cool idea. Or, or you could even collab with, like, other sellers who have things that could complement what you sell. You know what I mean? And make, like different different things that go together and do like a full gift guide you could make like pinterest boards about gift guides you could choreograph all of your shop sections on etsy as different gift guides all kinds of good ideas there that's all we got so far i would be so into an alpha architect collab yeah we we do those once a year we do one for handmade titan university where you guys can get in and get a little bonus thingy um and then we do one for architect where you guys can get in and get a little bonus thingy. We just, we can't announce what the bonus thingies are yet. So, but yeah, that's coming on Monday for Henry Titan University. Somebody struggles with lifestyle photos. Any good tips on how to take good lifestyle photos? Try to make it natural. The Magnet Maiden. So you create such great products. I really enjoy the photos that you have now. I know that because you create magnets, you probably want to put them like on a fridge. Um, honestly, I think that the way that you take your photos now is great. And I think that because a lot of your product a lot of your products are based around food rather than displaying them on a fridge it might even um benefit you to display them as if they were food like for your valentine's collection with your sugar cookies it might be beneficial to display them on a dollhouse size like little plate and make it seem like a, a fake scene where they're sitting there and then you put in there that they are magnets like in the actual photo description or use those photos in your listings and that's going to make things a lot easier for you than trying to figure out how to make your products and your branding fit on like the front of a fridge especially if you you don't personally have a fridge that fits your aesthetic like we have a stainless steel fridge and that would look your products you know I couldn't take a good photo of your products on our fridge. Or if you have a black fridge, you know, your products probably won't look great on it. Because when I think of your products, I think of like fun and bright and upbeat and colors. And so I would display them in a way that, like, for example, your sunflowers, take them out in the grass when it gets warmer and lay them in the grass and take lifestyle photos that way. Or have, you, you could get like a child a picture of a child sticking them on a fridge. That might be a way to do it rather than doing a close up. Find, you know, like a, a little child to like put them on the fridge and looking up and then have some cute quote on your photos might be another idea. I sell crochet toys. Do you have any info on any animals that might be trending? Yeah. Um, sloths are big right now. T-Rexes are big. I'm also noticing dinosaurs with sunglasses. If you go into Target. Yeah, that's from a meme. The meme thing yeah kind of for kids parties i'm noticing it for animals what i would recommend is go to target and look at their birthday party section and you'll find a lot of different ideas but sloths are really big right now somebody said hedgehogs yeah cute animals are always trending llamas sloths and yeah definitely llamas otters oh yeah otters are big Any, anything that's like a, a cute trendy animal is probably going to stay that way hedgehogs otters llamas giraffes sometimes are trending 
just yeah. depends. Llamas are, are big for Valentine's Day. I've noticed. I've seen a lot of Valentine's llamas. So those are all really trendy right now. But go into Target, go into their children's um, home decor section, like children's bedrooms, and go into their children's party sections. And you can usually see what animals are trending currently. Would you say that woven wire jewelry is trending right now? Um, not really sure. I'm not, yeah, I'm not like a trends expert on all things currently trending no, that, something something that niche is really hard to say whether or not it's trending overarching themes are what you can really search for as far as trending goes it's kind of up to you to know your market in that specific kind of case right my like key necklaces like what she makes it would be really they're hard never for, trending they're, they're they're never really trending now but what I do, because keys are never really, I, keys, skeleton key necklaces, especially mine, are not trending. But what I can do is I can say, okay, I know that in my niche, uh, we'll say like Game of Thrones is trending, therefore I will make a lot of keys with dragons on them, and then those keys end up, end up being what sell. And I'm not saying to, as I always say, I'm not saying to use those trademark terms Use in your words themes. right just look at what's popular you know when twilight was really big there was vampire stuff everywhere you know and it wasn't twilight related it was just all vampires overall vampires don't sparkle in the sun anyway and when when the walking dead was still very popular we saw um you know zombies everywhere not necessarily just the walking dead zombies it was just zombies overall were yeah. everywhere so should we do Etsy ads right away when starting our store? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think you should wait until you know what items are actually going to be selling the most. Like she said earlier, you should stick. You should advertise just the items that are selling the best in your shop. Exactly. Best sellers are what you should yeah, be promoting. Yeah, The Witcher right now. It's really hard to, to sub-theme out of The Witcher without directly taking something out of it. But something like Wolves right now, if you're in the jewelry, would probably be okay, I think. Yeah. I don't, swords. That's kind of a hard one because yeah, the Witcher doesn't have like a specific topic other than the fact that it's like the Witcher. Cat, a cat Nothing. eye? Cat, like, yeah, cat's like eye. Like those, like those, those cabochons that are, um, I different really, eyes. I haven't really looked at what people have been fascinated with as far as that TV show His goes butt? yet. You can't really, well. I saw a shirt I'm with his butt on it. That. Yeah, I, I have seen that. <laughs> The, the toss a coin to your Witcher thing where it's the coin bouncing off of the butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Henry Cavill. That's hilarious. How about giving access to Etsy and my Twitter account to market my stuff? Thanks. What? <laughs> Did I just... How about giving... You mean... Do you mean... When you make... Because I used to have it set up to where I made a sale on Etsy, and when my item uh, would restock, at, which happens, or it refreshes every time you know you make a sale, it, it repopulates that item. I had it set on Twitter where that would happen, and it would send an automatic tweet. Yeah, it's mar under marketing via social media. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, because when that, there's no personal there. It's just product. Product, pro and that's not how marketing should be. It should be a very personal thing. You should be directly speaking to the people that you're trying to sell to. The difference is taking a tennis ball and repeatedly throwing it against a brick wall and, and hoping that it sticks to the wall versus taking one of those sticky hands yeah. that you get out of a gumball machine and throwing it against a, a brick wall and you know watching it stick there. And not, not to mention, a lot of social media platforms in the past have... I'm not going to say they've looked down on third-party programs posting, but things like Instagram and stuff like that. When schedulers. You, uh, schedulers. They tend to push those kind of out of people's feeds. Yes. Unless they're partnered. So if you have like something like Facebook and Instagram or Twitter and Instagram, stuff like People that are already very close in collaboration, you're probably okay. But something like Etsy, who isn't specifically partnered with those people, who has no stock stake in that market they're probably not going to be something that you're going to want to be posting from regardless. It's not going to show up in people's feeds as much as if you were to make your own post on the platform. Yeah, cross-posted things we've noticed. If you if we post to Instagram and cross-post to Facebook, those perform very well. Yeah. Um, but if we schedule, like doing any type of scheduled posts, those tend to perform uh, 
much more poorly because the algorithms do pick up that you're not actually posting those in the moment. So yeah, it's, just it's not you. little fun facts that we've picked up along the way. No confirmed evidence of this. However, we do have reason to believe. Yeah. When creating a collection, should you create a special name for the collection or just state what the collection is? Uh, you could do either way, but I think that creating a special name is very exciting for mm -hmm. the viewers. If you were to just say the... It's called hype. Yeah. If you were to just say, let's see, what's something do I have? The, the, I need a product. The, okay. I don't, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Hawaii, um, hair candy, Dolly made us these hats. If she were to just say the, the hat, the beanie collection, like, ew, that's, that doesn't, that doesn't sound fun. But if she said the head, the head candy collection, the, the fun head, head candy collection, like that sounds fun, right? That's something that I would want to get in on. Mark. I already have a hat on. Put it on top of your hat, a hat on a hat. So I would say that it's more for the benefit of, I think I'm wearing yours. You are. Of your, yeah, of your audience to give things a fun name. Let's see. Um, ba -ba. I'm not sure what all I should make that fits the metaphysical slash new age theme I'm going for. How do you decide what to make? Um, you need, don't just decide what to make, research what to make. I would check on erank.com and look <laughs> at trending topics and <laughs> trending keywords related to your niche and see what people are actually searching for on Etsy. You can do this within the keyword tool or if you have eRank Pro, which is only $10 a month, I highly recommend it. I'm not an affiliate. I'm not getting paid to say this. However, I feel like it's a tool that everybody should invest their money into. I recommend it more than I recommend Facebook ads um, or I'm sorry, Etsy ads. But yeah, uh, just make sure that people are actually searching for products within that industry and look at specifically what they're searching. So I might type in just metaphysical and see what people are searching. I might type in, depending on if you work with gemstones, aromatherapy, things like that, I would type those keywords in specifically and just see what people are most shopping for. All right, we'll do this as the last question. We're 20 minutes over. I think we've made up for we were, our lost time. Yeah, I was going to say, we were late. By That's like why I haven't said anything <laughs> yet. I figured 20 minutes is, it makes up for lost time. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not sure what all I should make that fits the metaphysical I just new read age that. theme. Okay, well then, <laughs> you know what? Can you get in trouble for using a Disney term like Baby Yoda in a tag, not the title? Yes. I don't. Actually, with that one, I don't think so because yes. I've seen it all over the place. You can. You will. That's just they haven't okay, found well, you yet. Okay, well, there's like a million t-shirt companies that are using Baby Yoda with the name. Yep, and there are Disney lawyers that are literally She knows out. this crap better than I do, so don't listen to me, but... Yeah, there are literally Disney lawyers who are paid just to try to find companies that do that. You can't put it anywhere. Nowhere. Nowhere is safe. Stay away from it. Nowhere is safe. You're and, not safe. The and, inevitability of death is coming for us all. We... <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that you can safely use a trademark term, especially when it is Disney. Um, I would just stay away from them. And as much as we can say there are so many Etsy sellers doing it, it's your choice if you want to risk it and your shop shut down. So, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't look into this stuff, so trust her word about that. Yeah, not me. I would stay away. Stay away. Maybe Yoda is a massive crackdown. Yeah, stay away. How are you today? Great. My three-year-old just said, look, it's Uncle Aaron. How do you know I'm not Uncle Aaron? He is. That's Uncle Aaron. That's me. That's Uncle Aaron. I'm going to really confuse your kid. <laughs> He's probably watching very confused. E-Rank is great, and Anthony is such an honest person. Love his business morals. Yes, Anthony is absolutely awesome, and he his customer service over there is great. There's a little feedback button right on the screen. When you click that, you actually send a message to a person, usually Debbie, who's also an alpha. So <laughs> Debbie's an alpha. Most of his staff members are alphas. Nate, who is his marketing guy, is also our marketing guy. So... <laughs> When we're, when we're not affiliated. If you guys any have any ideas on how E-Rank and the Alphas could become more together, because we want to do that, but we don't know how. We can't figure out. We're, like a, We're legit not affiliated, but we share quite a few features. Exactly. We want, we want to bring our brands together, but we don't know how. We can't figure out something that would be beneficial to you guys. So if you have any ideas, you know, let us know. Throw them out there. Yeah, totally. To, so, hit the feedback button and tell Anthony message Nate 
tell Nate his email is marketing at handmadealphaacademy.com. Go bug him. Tell him all of the ideas. All right, that's it. <sighs> all right, guys. Don't get sued by Disney. Don't that's the moral get, of the story today. Don't get sued by Disney. Test your tech before you go live. I had nothing to do with testing tech. I plugged in a keyboard and it broke the stream. <laughs> Oh, what a it is 2020. It shouldn't be this freaking hard. It's really not all that hard. It's more just like not having just one button to press to go through. There, it's a process to set this crap up. It is. It's. It used to just be one button. YouTube took it away. And I, I installed it on her computer, but her computer was like, nah, I'm not doing that. And just completely froze up right when I went to start the stream. So I had to unplug all of her keyboard and mouse and everything. Plug it plug it into yeah here let me have that plug it into mine restart the stream get her monitor cable oh yeah you got that there you go all right perfect tech rage is hat on a hat no it's hat on a hat on a hat now i can't it's, even see it it's so tall the hat on a hat on a hat is the new 2020 spring Aye. trend all right for those who who joined us late we will be deleting the stream probably by the end of the day i might leave it up for till we'll the end of the it up for a day or two and then we'll delete it yeah who be... cares about the hater comments yeah we're gonna end up getting a lot of hate because there were so many tech errors at the beginning of this video our replay folks do not like those um uh, unless we get a massive amount of comments on the actual replay of the video that says please leave it up uh, make sure that you guys go check out the links down below. There's goodies down there. We have t-shirts that we're selling. We are donating 100% of the proceeds to Australia, the Australian Red Cross more specifically. So go get yourself a hashtag alpha strong t-shirt. You guys can even customize the color. I picked lots of fun colors for you guys. So make sure that you pick a fun color. We ordered four shirts. So, um, and I did want to point out that when you guys receive those shirts, they will smell like vinegar. That is to maintain the color. That's just how bonfire Because they does. wash them with vinegar. Yeah, it's good for the shirts. So, yes. Somebody asked what our video setup is. Um, a mess. Uh, it's a mess at the moment. I have a pretty legit setup that I use. When I get the studio done, I'm waiting up my, I ordered like a $2,000 desk for down here and I'm getting her one too. And it was supposed to be delivered in February. We were supposed to ship in February, but the wood distributor sent them some crap wood and they denied it. So that got pushed back another month. As soon as the whole studio is down here is finished, I'll probably do like a, a walkthrough and show of all of our gear and stuff that we use down here. So expect that probably like early summer. Yeah, because right now it's like a wreck. He's still building my, my PC. My new it's PC. pretty much done. It's just a matter of moving her files onto it, which takes forever, so couple people said try editing the beginning out yeah we have we to can, do, we can i mean we have to do that through youtube and yeah what is the best time to list new listings there's not really a best time to list new listings and uh, we're cutting the stream anyway yeah. so yeah yeah oh t-shirts get my marketing calendars down below uh this monday handmade titan university will be opening but we'll have um special goodies for alphas so watch your email and we'll send you some special things if you enroll plus we're doing something cool with renee for everybody even if you can't enroll so thank you guys for hanging out with us for dealing with all of our tech errors hopefully this does not happen next week we will make sure that all of these issues are fixed and that my desk is cleaned back up because we made a mess when he was trying to get everything fixed but guys have an amazing weekend. We're going to be doing a lot of planning this weekend. Nate's coming over to hang out. We're going to be doing a lot of different stuff over the next few days. In the meantime, oh, in the meantime, here is a bubbers. No, you must stay on stream. You want you did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. You, you did this to yourself. You wanted to be live. You wanted to be here. This was your choice. He did this to himself, everybody. It's his fault. And no, I'm not hurting my cat, pee to people. Pee to people. <laughs> All right. We may or may not take this video down. I think I'm going to wait and see until the haters start kicking in. If they start kicking in, then I'm going to turn this video right out.
We love you guys. We love you. Thank you for sticking with us through all of our craziness. We do. Goodbye. 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 Bye. <sighs>